uh, employee could be eligible for open-ended contract in very few situations. Firstly, the employee has worked for the employer for more than 10 years. Secondly, the employee and the employee has already uh, signed a two times fixed term contract and the both parties uh, agreed to renew that. Uh, for this, actually, the practice is a bit different in China in different places. The third one is uh, both parties maintain an uh, employment relationship for more than one year without a written contract. Generally, there are two parts of liabilities if the company uh, does not want to renew the contract. The first situation is, according to the China Labor Contract Law, the company uh, does not have to sign an open-ended contract with the employee. In this case, the contract can be expired, but the employer should pay economic compensation to the employee. For the economic compensation, it is calculated based on the number of years employee has worked for the employer and at the rate of one monthly wage for a one full year. For any period of more than six months, less than one year is calculated as one full year. And any period of no more than six months is counted as a half a year. Here is a capital issue for those people who get the higher salary. If the people's salary, salary is higher, then uh, three times the average monthly uh, salary of people declined by the local people's government. Then it is uh, kept as the three times monthly average salary and uh, for no more than 12 years of his work. Another situation is according to the law, the employer have to sign open-ended contract with the employee. In this case, if uh, no any legal reasons is found to support such expiration of contract, then it will be uh, deemed as illegal termination. If you want to terminate an employee before the expiration of the contract and you don't have any legal reason to support that, this termination should be uh, deemed as illegal termination. There are two possible liabilities based on different claims from the employees. Firstly, uh, the, if the employee claims to return to work, the employer should offer the original job or provide another job for the employees. Along as uh, the employee's claim uh, is uh, supported by the arbitration community or the court, unless it is approved by the employer that uh, after dismissal, the employee had worked for another company or it is uh, objectively impossible uh, for the employee to come back to work. Alternatively, the employee may choose to ask uh, the economic compensation from the employer due to the illegal termination. In this situation, the employee is supposed to be paid the compensation, uh, which equals to double economic compensation. The first and the best way to resolve the dispute is avoid the dispute. It is very essential for the company to maintain the compliance management. If you want to terminate an employee, it is a suggest that you can try to meet all the legal conditions and go through all the legal procedures. In many cases, actually, it's very hard for the company to find enough evidence to do unilateral termination. But from the perspective of a business management, uh, some people may not uh, be kept anymore. And in this case, it is strongly recommended uh, to choose a mutual termination. After a labor dispute happen, there are still many opportunities for the employee and employee reach agreement through the negotiation and uh, mediation. Uh, if the company wants to avoid uh, potential litigation risks. If it is meaningless to negotiate with the employee anymore, sometimes unilateral termination or just waiting for a uh, result of a judgment is still a possible option. But uh, really be careful that before taking that, uh, the employer should know all the potential risk for every step.